YouTube. I am on the way to the gym. I am looking freaking fabulous. I'm not in a great mood. So, a little bitching. Get it out of the way. Just get it out of the way. Um, my kids are making me crazy. Two of them are adults. I have four sons. Uh, 19, 18, 16, and 7. The two adults, 18 and 19, one will be 20 in November, they still live at home. They're going to college. They're working. Very content to have them at home as long as they're pursuing their futures. They've been good at it off and on. Lately, they're just, they're being irresponsible with money. They're ordering crap from the internet. Things like, you know, ballast songs and new computers and, you know, our family struggles financially and I want their money to be their money, I do. And they have been helpful, like, you know, oh, I need you to put gas in the car because I'm doing a lot more driving, taking you your places. And and um, so it's like, why are you even complaining? I'm complaining because they were doing so well and now they backslid. I'm just, I'm annoyed. And I think it's because I am in a phase of self-improvement and moving forward and shaking off bad habits. And it's like they've gone into embracing their bad habits instead of shaking them off with me. I want everyone to be on my train. Anyway, so that's been really, really, really annoying. But I'm going all goonies on their ass. You know, in their mind, it's their time. But down here, in my mind, it's my time. And I'm going to do what I need to do for me and for the younger two because those older two their fuck-ups are not my fuck-ups anymore sorry for the language um, so I'm just gonna try to be an example and keep giving them the stern frown you know when another package from Amazon arrives with magic the gathering cards it's like I'm down on their interests I'm not I just am down on the amount of money they're spending on their interests now let's talk about good things I'm going to the gym because it's really working for me I'm enjoying the crap out of it and so last week I went to my first nutritionist appointment and met with the weight loss doctor who's a different person from the surgeon Dr. Wartz. Wartz has had surgery himself. He is, this guy's gonna stop, okay. I got put on metformin. Metformin produces a lot of stomach upset in many people. I'm one of them. I had forgotten that a little bit. I, I mean, I knew it, but here's what happened. The doctor said take one 500 milligram tablet in the morning and one at night. And after your stomach adjusts, do three over the course of the day. Then after your stomach adjusts, try two in the morning and two at night to slowly increase the dosage. So the pill bottle came from Myers, where it is free. Metformin is a free product of Myers here in the Midwest. And the bottle said something contradictory to what he had told me. I was supposed to take two tablets in the morning and two tablets at night. I didn't check the milligram. That's something he had mentioned was two in the morning and two at night. Um, so I did. There were 500 milligram tablets. I was taking 1,000 milligrams in the morning and 1,000 milligrams at night for a total of two doses. I spent a lot of time in the bathroom a lot of time. So that evening, I was like, nope, this is way more stomach upset than I've experienced uh, with the last time I took metformin. Let me investigate. So I got out his instructions from my discharge papers of the appointment and the bottle and realized my mistake. Now, I believe the bottle is written that way because I think he prescribed it so that once I was at the max dose, I would have plenty of pills. 
That's what I think happens. But it is written, I took it the way it is prescribed, but that is not what he told me to do on the paper. So I went, the very next dose was down to one tablet twice a day. My stomach backed off and that's what I'm taking currently. But today is Tuesday and as of this morning, in one week I've lost 7.2 pounds. It took me a month to lose nine pounds. Do I think some of that was dehydration? Yes, I do. Well, I actually rebounded about uh, 0.8 pounds. So I have recovered some of the uh, fluids that I lost in that one day of insanity. Um, and I'm continually drinking. I don't feel dehydrated, but um, yeah, don't, don't, don't do that kids. But, booyah, that puts me from my highest weight uh, 20.1 pounds gone since September 1st. Uh, remember that I am pre-op. I've had no surgery. I am at the beginning stages of the six-month wait period where I have to do diet and exercise to prove to my insurance company that I am a worthy opponent. Not opponent. Candidate. I'm fighting today. Everything's a fight. I don't expect losses like this. Heck no. That was an anomaly caused by some stupidity. Um, I have not been commenting and watching as many videos um, and that makes me sad because honestly I have subscribed to too many people. I just went nutso. Subscribing to too many people. Speaking of, I have 77 subscribers. Are you freaking kidding me? Why? That's amazing. If I ever get close to 100, I will do some sort of giveaway. I don't know what. I don't know. I crochet things. Maybe I'll give away a hat and a scarf or something that I've made. Or I make homemade, homemade soap. Ooh, I should give away soap. You would love it. Trust me, even you men folk. I think the Grand Marquis in front of me has noticed that I'm speaking into my phone. And because it's facing away, I do not have a front-facing camera. I believe that he can see me on my screen because he's doing some crazy giggling. <laughs> I'm glad I could bring you some joy. <laughs> okay, on that note, I'm going to go lift some weights and burn some calories and kick some ass. You guys are killing it. Every video I watch, there are pounds being lost. And when there are stalls, you guys are handling them. And when um, there are upset times, you guys are handling those too. Oh, speaking of, well, this is going to be the worst shout out ever segue. Um, speaking of being upset, Hard Boiled Heather is new to the community. She's been making some slamming videos. She's got um, been doing some really cool reviews. She's having a rough time. Her surgery's coming and she's a military wife, so she doesn't have a lot of support. Um, she's going for it. She's doing really good reviews. Go visit her. I think it's Hard Boiled Heather. Um, if I've got it wrong, when I edit, I'll put the name down there. So, okay. I feel better already just for ranting because I don't want to rant to my family. I don't want to tell them, you know, I don't want to rant to the kids because they're honestly just being young adults. They're just being selfish young adults like we all have been. So, I love you people, even the ones that I don't love. I love you.